Welcome back to Queens and Kings and all you royal in betweens. Today we're doing another cook with me video. We're going to be making some delicious juicy beef tips. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients nor does it take a lot of time. So if you want to know how to make these delicious beef tips, you're going to have to keep watching. So the first thing I like to do is clean my meat off and I brought some beef stew meat from a place called Food Giant and Food Giant has these pick fives and that's where you can pick five different products and pay $20 for all five of the products. I like to buy my meat from there because their meats are fresh as well as you can get a variety of products. So I like to have like hamburgers, pork chops, steaks. They have these sausages. They just have a whole variety of different things. to put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a nonstick pan and let that heat up but you can also use olive oil so once your pan has heated up to about a medium temperature go ahead and start placing your beef tips in the pan and I brought about three packs of beef tips cooking you want to start adding in your different seasonings so I started with adding in my seasoning salt and onion powder At this time, you want to go ahead and reduce your heat to a low temperature because you do not want your beef tips to cook all the way. What's going to make them tender is them slow cooking for a period. Now I'm going to add in some black pepper, beef broth, and beef stew seasoning mix. I used two cans of beef broth as well as two packs of beef stew seasoning mix.
So your beef stew seasoning mix requires you to add water and I think it's about one cup of water per pack. So because I had two packs, I added two cups of water. simmer for about another 30 minutes and then it should be done for my size I had rice and spinach This did not take a lot of time nor a lot of ingredients. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.